the plan is that I'm going to show you how um, a cavity tray works and how wheat vents work and the importance of installing them correctly. So this is a window, right? A normal window that you would see at your property. And this is your outer uh, brickwork and this is your inner block work, right? Um, so we're going to chuck some insulation in the walls. This is your calf defill insulation. Right then, so here we have the front of, of a property, right? And this is the window. Uh, see, this is the kitchen window. And above the kitchen window, we have our weep fence, right? And the job of the weep vent is to ventilate the cavity. So it goes right through the brickwork into the cavity and it allows this to ventilate. Also, any water that goes into the cavity, it allows that to escape, right? And how it does that is there's usually a cavity tray installed above the window, right? So that collects water. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what happens um, if there wasn't a cavity tray installed, right? So say water got through um, got through the brickwork, work, right? So, <laughs> so if water gets into your cavity and you haven't got a cavity tray, then the water is going to come into your house, yeah? So the water is going to get in. So you don't want that. So what they do to prevent that happening is... I need a bucket now. Shit. So... To prevent water from getting into your property, what they do is they install a cavity tray above the windows to prevent water from getting into the property. So, so how it works is you will have a plastic tray, basically, that crosses the top of your window, right? So this is your window and you've got this tray now that's above it, right? So it's stopping any water from getting below. And this is how it works with the wheat vents. So the cavity tray will also be folded on the sides. So that's going to stop any water from overflowing. And then, boom, boom, like that. We've now got a cavity tray above our window. So then if any water gets into your cavity, it doesn't go into the property. It lets it out through the weep vents. So, why are fake weep vents bad? Well, if there's fake weep vents installed, basically, it's blocking the weep holes, right? So the water that's getting into the cavity is staying in there. And obviously, what happens once there's enough water? Well, it all starts to fill it, overfilling, and then it starts coming into the property. But this all could have been solved if the weep vents were real. And that's how to explain the cavity tray using Minecraft. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.